Hello, it is me. I am back. Yeah, I got a new purse. <laughs> um, I went actually to Vegas for my birthday, for my 21st birthday, and I decided to treat myself with a new purse. It's something that I have kind of been doing as a tradition. Um, I bought my first purse when I was 20 and now I'm 21 and I'm buying a new purse. So I thought I would show you guys um, what I got. I decided to go again, go ahead. Blah, blah, blah. I decided to go ahead and get the Stella McCartney um, Fala, Falabella. Is I think that's how you say it. Um, and I got the black one in the mini size. So I thought I would share with you guys that I bought another purse. Um, <laughs> yeah, another thousand dollars, pretty much down the drain. Um, but you know, that's what I love to do, so here I am, I guess, showing you my new purse. Um, I had bought one last year for my birthday when I turned 20, which was my Louis Vuitton. Um, it's on my channel, you can check it out if you want. But this year, since I turned 21, I decided to treat myself again. Um, which is something I think I'm going to be doing yearly, whether it's buying a purse on my birthday or buying a luxury item that I have been desiring all year long. I think it's pretty good to wait all year and really save your money for it and then splurge on your birthday or, you know, whatever holiday you feel is necessary. So I decided to go ahead and get the Stella McCartney, oh my god, I hope the lighting's good here, Fala Bella bag. Um, and this is it. And I have it in the size, this is the mini size. Um, and I have it in the color black. So here's what it looks like. Um, it has this little Stella McCartney, oh, maybe it's backwards. Nope. It was right the first time, but it does have this little tag right here that has her name on it, the designer's name, Stella McCartney. It's a nice little detail on the bag. Um, and then one thing about this bag is that it's extremely heavy for like a crossbody. Here, I'll back up a little bit. Um, so here is the strap that it comes with. It's very long, sits perfect on me. I'm 5'2". Um, and this bag sits right um, at my hips, basically. So I'll show you kind of what it looks like on. Um, it doesn't have anything inside of it right now, but this is what it looks like, kind of like folded over. It's supposed to kind of have this like grunge, um, I feel like more edgy type of look. This is a purse that I would normally probably not buy, but um, I really liked it for the color and the material. And the fact that it's so um, like shaggy, like when you move it, it just like moves with you. It's not super stiff, um, which I, I like a stiff purse too, but it, it just depends on the style and what I'm using it for. This is more of like a going out bag. Um, and then the inside is just like this nice pink, canvas in here that says Stella McCartney. Um, the only thing about this bag is that it doesn't have any pockets, but I can say that it does have this inside pocket right here again with her name on it embossed in the leather. Um, and then I also, I think I have the, um, oh no, it's in here. What is it? Like all of my information and stuff. Um, the little card that they give you. Um, authenticity, I think is what they call it. Yeah, so I have those. And then it also came with my receipt in the same little package. Um, and then this bag also does have a magnetic closure right here, which looks like it's been tarnished already. Oh no, that's just grease for my fingers. Oh yeah, we're good. Okay. And so then it also says Stella McCartney right there on the um, metal clasp as well. So yeah, this I believe ran me close to a thousand. <laughs> um, $936.36. Um, the total before tax was $865 and then I bought it in Las Vegas. So Ve Vegas sales tax I believe is eight point or 8.4 percent it's cheaper than um, buying it normally where I live and having it shipped to me um, so that was really fun it was a really good experience to go and buy a bag um, on my birthday like my actual birthday um, and just to have memories of being in Vegas and you know spending time with my mom so that was really cool and then I also have the dust bag for it here's what it looks like Doo -doo -doo. 
Um, and this one is a little bit smaller than my Louis Vuitton, the box and the dust bag itself. So this is my new purchase. I'm really happy with it. I think it's such a unique style of bag. Um, and it's a great option if you're looking for something under a thousand dollars. Like I really don't care to spend more than two, I think on a bag that I'm, you know, going to buy in my twenties. Maybe if I was older, I would invest in Chanel, um, or something a little more higher, higher up. But for now, I'm really content with just buying bags that I think will last a long time and that will fit my style right now. Um, and your style is always changing and growing. So who knows? I could love this bag even more in the next um, year or two. So I got that. I didn't know. Um, I was supposed to film this video like in October when I got back from Vegas. And now it's the end of November and I haven't posted a video in like kind of a long time. Um, but I've just been busy with school and stuff and I'm about to be finished um, for this year until I start again in January. So I did want to show you guys a couple other items I've picked up over the past couple weeks. Um, I did go to the employee Adidas store in Portland with my boyfriend um, and one of my best friends a couple weeks ago. And so I'll show you everything that I got from the store. Um, the first piece I'm already wearing actually, which is this Adidas cropped, um, what is it? It's not cropped. It's a crew neck, sorry, crew neck sweater, um, with long sleeves. I got this in an extra small, um, which normally I'm usually like a small or an extra small in tops and then a medium in bottoms. And so I had tried on the mediums, but they didn't exactly fit. So I got the small. So this is what the set looks like. Um, I'm doing my best to like have like a try on portion. Um, it's really nice, really comfy. I love that there's pockets and then it uh, also is tight at the ankles too. So, um, this set was really comfortable. I'm really glad that I got it. Um, I meant to grab my receipt for everything, but, um, I did get everything half off. So that's why I bought so many items there. I think my total was $229 and everything was half off. So if you do the math, um, I'm glad I got a discount. <laughs> I did also get these shoes. I picked these up at the Adidas store, size nine, women's. Um, I just needed some new slippers, so I grabbed these. The ones they have weren't very cute, but I figured some slippers was better than no slippers, so I got these. Um, the only thing that is kind of weird about them is I feel like maybe they're like more like shower shoes. Um, they don't have like the pokies in them or anything, but they're just very soft and smooth, and I feel like Maybe if I wasn't wearing socks, my feet would stick to them and like get kind of sweaty. So that's the only thing with these. I'm kind of hmm, not going to wear them probably when it's a hot weather. And then I'll try on the rest of the stuff over here. I did also get this little bag from Adidas, which they weren't selling in the store. I actually bought this on Urban Outfitters um, a little while ago. I returned a couple things and then this was also in my order. So I just thought this was really cute. A good like on the go bag um, super super like versatile you could wear this as like um, a fanny pack or you could do the crossbody like I am this would be a great bag to also like bring to the gym it has a little pocket here so you could put like your headphones or your phone in there but I think personally my phone will probably go in this big pocket right here and then it just has another little tabby on the inside for like maybe your credit card or something but I just really like how it's adjustable and I feel like this is a really safe and like easy way to like jump on the bandwagon with the like crossbody um, athletic bag that you don't have to spend a lot of money on I think this is $20 on Urban's website and I bought it for 16 because they were having some kind of sale So I just thought this was really cute and like It's like a really easy way to like flex and like, you know, make it look like you tried on your outfit But really I just bought a lounge set that's fuzzy, you know, like I feel like that's what everyone is doing nowadays Just buying something fuzzy and calling it fashion <laughs> The next thing I have to show you guys is a little um, athletic set that I got also at Adidas which um, I got this sports bra. I can't remember how much it was, but I have a really similar one. I think maybe even the exact same one in red and black. Um, and then I also picked up these running shorts in a size small. Um, everything was in a size small and it fits me really well, which is what I usually wear. I usually wear a size small, um, like I said, in tops and then Shorts is usually a small unless they're like jean shorts because then they don't really fit very well around like the legs and such. But 
I got a couple more items. Let me just show you those two. I did also get a pair of sweatpants, so let me show you those really fast. These are the sweatpants that I got. Um, they're really nice from Adidas. They have zipper pockets on both sides. I got these in a small. Um, and I just needed some high-waisted pants to uh, run to the grocery store in. So I'm really excited that I got these. And I think for half off, anything Adidas is a great deal. So I'm really excited to go back. I want to go again maybe next year. My work... Oh, something I forgot to mention. The reason I got to go to the Adidas store and get everything half off um, was the fact that my work had partnered with them. And so they kind of like did something for their employees. So they said, hey, you can go to the Adidas store, get half off because you work here. We value you. We appreciate our um, employees. So... I thought that was really cool, so really excited about that. The next item I have to share with you guys is a pair of leggings. So I'm just gonna stand up and show you what they look like. Um, again, I'm wearing the same top that I did earlier. These are just the Adidas leggings uh, with the three stripes on the side. I believe I got these in a medium as well as I usually get all of my bottoms, sweatpants, jeans, leggings, doesn't matter. I'm usually a medium. And the last clothing item that I got was another pair of leggings, and then I have a hat too, but that's, I mean, that's accessories, I guess. So let me show you. Let me stand up. This is what they look like. These ones are like the active wear, the fit ones. Um, they're really, really stretchy, and they have this really nice band that, like, sucks everything in. So I really like these. These are... Not quite like legging material, it's more of like a sportswear, but it's a lot softer. So I feel like it's going to be stretchier. I'll probably tend to wear these more just because um, they are softer and they're not going to be so stiff. I did also get this hat from Adidas. This little cute knit beanie. Um, it has cream, like a beige, and then more of like a darker brown down here. Um, and this is just like all of my perfect colors all wrapped into one hat so I couldn't resist <laughs> and the last thing I have to share with you guys is a water bottle from Adidas I don't normally buy water bottles like this but I just figured since it was half off I would snag it and it also does say Portland on the back which is um, the Adidas store that I went to so Really cool, really nifty. I love that it has a big toggle right here at the top. You can hook it on things, you can grab it full on, and then it just twists off. Um, and then the cap as well just twists, and it all folds back into one contraption so you don't lose any parts or it's not difficult in any way to use it. So that is everything I got. I'm not sure really what I'm gonna title this video. I Obviously it's a haul, but I just figured, you know, I, I like to shop and I like buying things and so I'd rather just see what everyone else is doing, what everyone else is grabbing for, you know, the holiday season and these are my pickups that I had for um, the month of October and November. So I'm glad you guys got to see a little, in, little slice into my life. So with that, I'll probably end this video here and I will see you guys on the next one. Okay, bye!